Hi, welcome to Pauline's Quilters World. I'm Pauline and I want to just share with you today some of the things we use to do accurate piecing. So this little quilt at the front here, it, you know, it's very nice to make quilts, but it can be very, very frustrating when your points don't match. So we use a very accurate ruler. We use our half and square triangle rulers because we find these really great to make our, all of our triangles. But we're going to do another little video for you how to use those properly. What I'm focusing on now for you is using the double fork pins because I think these are one of the most cleverest things ever invented for us to get our points matching absolutely perfect. And I adore these pins. So if I'm going to be putting these two triangle sets together, here we've got two triangle units made up. When we put our nest our seams together, like we have to, and we're connecting them and making sure that they're really, really nested in against each other, I find if I put a regular pin up on one side of the seam and one pin on the other, that's where we can get movement from because the pin's got to fit there. Even if we put a pin up that seam, it's going to cause us problems. Using the double fork pin, because it goes either side of the stitching line, it locks that in place. Now it's a very, very fine pin. Some people like to sew over pins, some people don't like to. I'm one that, that sews over them and I've never broken a needle yet. But we're going to now sew down this row here. We're not sewing down this diagonal, that's already sewn. We're sewing straight down here. But before we sew, you can always check to make sure that that point is matching perfect with that pin. So come back to your machine, sit down. If you don't want to sew over that pin, this little curve here is brilliant because it gives you a grip and you can pull that pin out as you're sewing down and just get that away from the needle and stitch on down. Now you might notice that I've pinning from the fabric side to the outside. I don't pin from the outside in because we don't have to remove the pin totally. If I'm going to be joining my rows together like I have here, when we join these rows together, we use one of the double pins and pin either side of those seams. Just push it on through. And then we go through and we put a pin at every intersection. You know, if you've got five or six intersections across a block, pin and you will find that will help you immensely as you stitch across here. And when you've stitched, you'll be very proud that you've got all of these points matching absolutely perfect. So every point here, we use the pin. So I'd like to encourage you to try using them. If you haven't got them, we do have them on our website. You can go to that www.pqw.com.au and purchase the pin. Have a look at the videos that will be there for you for using the half and quarter square triangle rulers to get perfect triangles. Have a look at why we use this ruler to get our measurements exactly right and why I use the little rotary cutter. And do subscribe when you're on our website, subscribe to get our, our regular newsletter so we can keep you up to date with what's happening at Pauline's Quilters World. So happy piecing, happy cutting and happy pinning.